Stop the Bleed is a national campaign that's designed to take lessons that we've learned on the battlefield from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, and now we're bringing that back to benefit the American people. And so what we learned is that many of the lives that were saved and that could be saved were actually saved immediately after injury, and they were often saved by non-medical people. Bleeding can kill someone in as little as three to five minutes. And so this is something that a first aid provider, someone who is there immediately, can really intervene to save a life. People have generally not responded to bleeding emergencies, but we have seen people responding in areas like after the Boston bombing, and we want to give people motivation to act, and then when they do act, we want them to be able to understand the difference between life-threatening and non-life-threatening bleeding, and we want them to be able to apply pressure to stop that bleeding. Going into that work and figuring out the best evidence to guide civilian practice on that has been really an exciting uh, challenge to be a part of.